Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 10 of the Disguise 2 uh, PC LP. So in the off time I did do that first Dark World uh, level and it got most people level 20 just through the bonus XP and no one got XP for killing the uh, enemy uh, because I uh, died by poison which kind of sucks but I guess it makes sense. Um, no one landed the killing blow which is what the uh, game looks for when giving out XP. Um, so let's go to the uh, first level. Excusez-moi, Monsieur Adele. Your mother was once a human, but she is a powerful summoner, no? Indeed. She surprised me as well. I never knew that humans could become such great summoners. Well, I heard that she was a pretty famous summoner when she was young. She doesn't really talk about it, but according to the townspeople, she used to get requests from nobles and royalty. Hmm. Did she learn how to summon all by herself? No, she said a friend taught her a long time ago. But she doesn't remember much since Zenon's cursed our world. I see. You must be very proud of her. But to be able to teach someone else skills to that extent, that friend must have been a great summoner. Ah. Hello, zombies. Okay. Um... You can come up here, and there, uh, there, uh, there, there's the nail bat. Uh, I was waiting for that move specifically, because it's one I remember. I um, think that'll hit you from here, yes. Um, you might as well. And that's it. And I want to. I sort of do, sort of don't, but gotta. Yeah. The move is really good. I like how he says bye B, even though he means bye bye. Yeah, so this game is going pretty good. Uh, I'll try to keep. See, I'm I'm debating how much I actually want to grind, because um, I would like to keep it easy and keep it on a fast pace. But at the same time, I'd also kind of like to have a little bit of challenge, which I guess I could uh, simply do by uh, um, by increasing or putting stronger enemies. But it really comes down to like. There, it's not as easy as it is in Sky Five, where you just go into the cheat shop and up the stars. Well, this isn't the best place to do this, but we gotta eat sometime. Hanako made us some rice balls to eat. Do you want some? Uh, don't you mean donuts? Ignorant brute! Inviting a lady to eat in a place like this is simply inappropriate. Don't you have any manners? She is right, Monsieur Adele. Do you expect a princess to dine in such a Big sty? So what? You're not gonna eat? I shall try some. Princess! You are going to eat? We mustn't let Hanako's food go to waste. Besides, I'm hungry. Alright, here you go. Hmm. So this is a rice ball. I have never eaten food of this kind before. Psst, Tink. Yes, Princess? I must warn you, I am not going to share my rice ball with you. That isn't what I was going to ask you. Are you certain I can leave all the planning to you? Princess, your doubt is like an arrow through my heart. Do you not trust Tink? Honestly, I do not trust you at all. You did not even stop to think about it. Eh, very well, let me explain. These swamps are famous for being quite dangerous. You see, there are unique monsters around here. Some of the older ones are said to be well over level 100. They are thought to come from UFOs. <laughs> UFOs. So, I suggest we get this monster to eat Adele. Instead of fighting, we can run away. I see. You are evil. Au contraire. I am not as evil as you. <laughs> All who oppose my father must die. He desires to fight. So his fate is already sealed. But if that happens, 
How will Taro and Hanako feel? What is this? A conscience forming? I do like, uh... Uh, I do like how Tink is French. I just think that's funny. Um, okay, you know what? I'm gonna actually show you, uh, the map that, uh, I did... I can't even say grind, I didn't do it multiple times, which I define as a grind, when you just do something over and over and over again. Um, yeah, so here, difficulty three. Um, so which one is that? Uh, it's hard for me to, uh... Okay. But... Okay, so it's right here. And this one is right there. Okay. Del. Lift. Yes. Okay. And now I take my big scary... Fuck. I'm an idiot. Um... Actually... Nope. Okay. Um... Forget how I did this prior. Okay. I know I had... Okay, there. And... There. Okay. This is taking a lot more turns than the original one did, but whatever. So long as the appropriate actions get taken eventually. Um, then, and, uh, here, and then Azra comes out, uh, takes away the consciousness. Okay, good. Now I can get the rest of everyone out, or, um, and luckily this guy has zero counter, so, um, it actually is rather uh, good for this, and uh, what's going to happen is these two are going to respawn, I believe, uh, the one that was here and over here. So I'm going to put my Beastmasters over on those sides, um, and you can see uh, here what I'll get for each of the things. Um, Although my goal this time is slightly different, because I kind of want to get a killing blow uh, from someone on this guy. Um, so... Um, I'm gonna keep... Uh, there. Uh, come over here with her. Hurricane Slash. Uh, do that. Um, and I guess I can just put her in there. Do that. Uh, see, uh, which need to come over here. Turn off ally effects. Attack. And attack. Where is... okay. I need him to use consciousness. Oh wait. I want uh, him to attack as well. Consciousness has to be the last move used, or else it will not go all that well. So Hurricane Slash did quite a bit. Huh. Might actually kill it. Damn. Was not expecting that. Okay. That went well. Okay. Well, that went a bit faster than I was expecting because I wasn't, uh, I didn't think anyone would be able to kill it. So, I was now level 45. Um, and one way to do that better, well, would be to wait until uh, uh, more things spawn because I believe this sun report is uh, every other turn the enemies get revived, although that may have been that may change from uh, thing to thing. Um, so, uh, take that as you will. And let's come in here. 
Uh, let's do a summoning experiment. Um, strongest in a way. Let's let's try that out. The Galactic Heavyweight Championship belt, Cosmo Muscle, Sexy Underwear, and some Cold Ramen. Uh, let's do them all together in a pop for 24 hours. And presto, we, should, we can have some of the strongest character. Are you sure? Sexy Underwear and Cold Ramen. The ingredients alone are quite suspicious sounding. Uh, trust me, I never failed at cooking something up. So the strongest character of all time is waiting beyond the smoke. Ba, ba, ba. P plein air. Oh, I've seen her. She's always on the news. Oh, is she truly that renowned? Yeah, she's so famous that she never says a word on TV, but she always has the highest ratings. I heard a sponsor once crossed her and ended up sleeping with the fishes. See? There's something about her. She eliminated a sponsor. How bold of her. So, should we fight her? Be careful, Adele. If you hit her, it might be the last thing you ever do. Hmm. I guess she is the strongest in a way. What should we do? Uh, oh right, I always fight everyone face to face. That's just my style. Bring on everything you have. Oh, so you've made up your mind? Uh, uh, way to go, I'm so proud of you, my fighting freak of a brother. Uh, look, you can call me a fighting freak all you want, but that's not what I'm about. I'm a huge fan, please give me an autograph. Is that part of your style? No, that was because I'm a big fan of hers. Away! <laughs> Did anyone else hear something snap? Two hours later. Thanks to his allies, there are search Adele was found safe and sound as he was weeping in his bed. Plenair took pity on Adele and Hanako and joined the group. Yes. <laughs> um, status. Uh, an all-around popular mascot girl. Uh, she's getting more and more exposure. If moving after attacking, move plus three. So she's pretty damn good. Um, oh yeah, I didn't check her. Um, she really likes guns and stabs. Um, wait, decide. <laughs> so, so who the hell is she? Okay, um, let's see if I have any... Don't really have any good things to give her. Could give her a poison hand, but I don't... Um, BB gun. No really good things. Um, oh well. Uh, I probably won't be using her, because I don't want to get so many people that, uh, main characters or aren't going to get used. Um, but she's nice to have. Okay, so, a little bit in, let's save again, since it takes no time at all, and come in here. Murderer's Vault, Dangerous Refuge. Hey, I just realized something. Why isn't Xenon trying to rescue you? I mean, he should know that you're missing by now, right? Why isn't this all over the news? We should have bounty hunters chasing us with shootouts and everything. You! You dare mock me! Are you implying that I am not the real daughter of Xenon? Um, what are you talking about? My father cherishes me, a beautiful mansion built just for me. All those furniture is made just for me. Servants who work just for me. And he sends me flowers and gifts every day. All for me, and only me. Who else would Overlord Xenon do such things for? Who? Answer me. What are you getting so angry about? No one said anything about you not being his daughter. I just wanted shootouts. Hm. That is what you get for asking rude questions. Oh. <laughs> well, little messy. Uh, okay. Okay, so they're all generally in the forward direction. Um, sweet. Okay, cool. 
I like this guy fives and possibly this guy d2s method of just like oh yeah even if you've already stopped moving you can move some more uh, if you realize like you want to change the position um, vacuum vase okay so let's make sure ally effects are on and execute oh shit didn't realize that was a buff. eventful. Yeah, I'm just gonna come over here. You know that. Die. Die! Okay. Having nice leveled people is really awesome, especially when you just want to rip through maps. So you're level 45, 25, 25, 25, 29. Okay. Uh, rose thorns. Oh yeah, that's the buff. You heard me. <laughs> um. Um. Just gonna come over here, do that. Um. Okay, and yeah, we can. Oh God! Just flip it out <laughs> around your neck. Okay. Hello, pollen. something what are you still mad at me are you planning to ask another rude question no I'm not I was just wondering what kind of man overlord Zenon is all I've heard are the legends no one has seen Zenon and lived to tell about it so I have no idea what he's really like well my father is a kind and generous man he always protects me with all his might there is no one more respectable than him. Hmm. What do you say, Tink? Well, I have never met him personally, but um, he is not someone you want to upset, huh? Anyone who defies him or fails to follow an order is killed immediately. His cruelty. Mm, he is indeed an overlord. Wow. You're talking about the same guy? But, I guess even the feared god of all overlords can be sweet to his own daughter. <laughs> I guess Zenon does have one soft spot. You! If it was only me, I would have let it go. But, I will not abide you ridiculing my father! It, it, you're taking this all wrong. I'm just surprised that even a demon like Zenon can show parental love. I guess demons have families too. 
Do you really believe that? H hey, don't stand so close to me. It is exactly as you said. My father does love me. That special bond between my father and I. It is the love we share between father and daughter. Well, it's good to know that demons feel affection too, I guess. But her father is the demon I must defeat. Damn it. I shouldn't have asked her about it. It just makes it harder to defeat it. Okay. Uh, and let's go in. Boom. And summoning experiments. Shot true scale. I'm really sharp today. I'm almost scared of my own genius. When you say things like that, I can only assume that something bad is about to happen. Hey, why don't you trust me? Let me ask you something first. Why should I trust you after all you've done? You're so mean. Oh, I know. Just wait until you see my brand new genius summoning technique. Huh. Did you invent a new summoning spell? Yeah, I followed my instincts and thought way, thought way out of the box on this one. Here, look at this spot. Or, at this pot. It has Tardo's game and saved it after he played all night. The character levels are all 9,999. Isn't that awesome? So, yay, he, he put Disgaea in there. And the crystallization of all his blood, sweat, and tears are being simmered together in this pot. Oh, If Tar knew about this, he would likely pass out. If the developers knew that their game was being cooked in a pot like this, they'd probably faint too. Now come on out, you level 9,999 warrior. They're not instant noodles. I didn't know summoning magic worked this way. Is this child really a level 9,099 warrior? Splendid job, Honko. You summoned a character out of the game. So they're playing Phantom Brave. That's what I remembered. Uh, uh, that's because I'm a genius summoner. It's a piece of cake. I'm surprised at myself. I didn't know I could actually do that. <laughs> now that I can summon people like this, I'll summon an idol singer next time and get her autograph. <laughs> Where am I? Where's Ash? In Castile. Huh? They're probably gone. They all got cooked. Dead. They're dead? Why did you do that? Well, I just... Did I do that? Yeah. <laughs> That can't be. I was just about to defeat Sulphur. I was about to save Ivoire. I'll never forgive you. Her hair color in the sprite and versus the picture is different, completely different shades. Valiant Phantoms aid me in battle. Chartreuse Gale. Look out, Adele. You have to beat her. This is all your fault. The least you can do is feel bad. Okay. Oh. Hello there. Bye. <laughs> the Nightmare. Are you sure you want to skip the story? No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want to skip it. Woo, we barely made it. Hanako. Ha ha ha, sorry. Hey, there's Ash. Hey, don't say sorry, you have to take care of this girl. She's your responsibility. No, I don't wanna. Why can't we make Ash take care of her? Huh? Ash? Ash, is that you? I finally found you. Why didn't you say something earlier? Why are you running away from me? Because you're the Morona who came out of the game, right? How can I tell if you're the real or not? You might just be a copy. How can you say that? Ash, you're a character from that game too. No, I may be a phantom, but I'm still human. That's just the way they wrote you. <laughs> if you're really the heroine of the game, you shouldn't say things like that. I don't know what's going on between you two, but can I ask her to join us? 
a bit confused, Adele encouraged Marona to join the group. All right, feel free to continue your discussion. We'll just go home and sleep. Well. Hey, kids. Don't cook games. It's not healthy. Don't worry. Nobody would do that anyway. I goddamn love these DLC things because they just break the fourth wall so good. Uh, okay. Uh, with that, I'm going to end this episode a little bit early. So I hope you all have a very nice day and will join me in the next episode. Bye.